cast your minds back to the 1970s and uh, there was only three channels on the television for your entertainment and one of them might be showing the 1938 Robin Hood film with Errol Flynn in it. Uh, Errol Flynn, Basil Rathbone, one of the first Technicolor films and you're enjoying that on your Sunday afternoon and then in the 1970s there were lots of industrial disputes and a three-day week then there's a power cut so you'd have to carry on playing Robin Hood in your imagination and thanks to Airfix we had a rather lovely Sherwood Castle fort which is one of their snap together plastic kits and right the 1970s the the poor were rebelling against the rich um, and Robin Hood came to save us from the uh, wicked Norman oppressors. Well, uh, King Richard was away on the Crusades. The Normans were taxing the poor to pay for the rich. And the Saxons rebelled and robbed the rich to pay to give to the poor. Anyway, Airfix provided the entertainment for when your television went a bit blank. Uh, and we've got here a very Errol Flynn-like Robin Hood. Little John. Fry a tuck there. All the scarlet. That's the wicked sheriff himself. Just set the scene. I mean, one of the other influences was the uh, 1973 Disney uh, Robin Hood, just to keep the theme going, which I also enjoyed as a child when you got taken to the cinema. Um, and the other Robin Hood film I enjoyed was, um, well, a TV show actually, 1984 Robin of Sherwood. Michael Prade and Jason Connery were the uh, played the uh, lead role. Judy Trott was Maid Marian. These are a few of my surviving figures. There's uh, quite a few gone missing over the years. Over played with a lot. Uh, in the TV show, there was uh, the music was by Clamad, which was very evocative and made it all very mystical. But luckily, uh, King Richard has come back from the Crusades and he's going to uh, bring peace and justice to the land and stop all this rebelling and fighting. And it was probably time for tea. So you had to get all your soldiers off the floor, out the kitchen, off the dining room table. So there you are, hope you've had a look, another little interesting no nostalgia trip. Thank you very much for watching. I hope the, uh, the fort has brought back some nice memories, perhaps you have one. And the figures, I think, it's still They've been released by Airfix a couple of times, so it's worth uh, getting hold of the set. Mine are a bit depleted, so I do need some more. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.